This week on the Cruising Kiwis. The difference has been incredible. Right in your eye line, Rachel, is what, apart from me? What am I good at? What are you good at? Uh, rowing. What am I not good at? Oh, um, I know this one. You're a handyman. <laughs> and dishes. This is Rob, and I'm Rachel, and these are our boys, Finn, Declan, and Ivan. We have sailed our catamaran Javelo across the Pacific Ocean. We would love it if you join us for the adventure. We have crossed thousands of miles of ocean, endured storms at sea, broken equipment, illness, and Rob's dodgy dinners. But it was a lightning strike while on anchor on the Gold Coast of Australia that disabled our boat and clipped our wings. Just got struck by lightning. Our voltmeter has gone off. Fridge won't work. We lost our navigation instruments. The lights have gone. This one popped out. There's glass on the deck. It's not a good thing. We got quotes, we hauled out, and then we waited. And waited, and we waited. And then we could wait no more, because the COVID pandemic lockdown was imminent, and we wanted out of the boatyard. So we got our boat to the point that we could live without shore power, gave her a beautiful wrap facelift, and we relaunched back into the water. It was um, two, for three months of toil and a lot of a lot of well, waiting. Not that much toil. A lot of waiting. A lot of waiting. A heap of waiting. And then a lot and of And then work. a lot of frenzied activity <laughs> getting back into the water for COVID. Uh, and then onwards from there. And then we did a whole truckload more work in the water. It just went on and on and on. Uh, I guess the long and the short of it from your perspective is you're probably wanting to know well how much that all cost? Well, let's just run through that a little bit, shall we? So we had um, one panel on the Bimini and three panels on the Davits, totaling about 400 plus watts. We've replaced them with uh, three panels, one on the Bimini and two on the Davits. 370 watts each, totaling 900, what's that, 1,000 and 1,100 and 10 watts total. Isn't that great? That's quick sums on the on the trot. The difference has been incredible, the output that we're getting, and we we've actually don't have to worry about power at all hardly now as a result of that. I highly recommend big solar panels and uh, yeah, huge difference. To add to our, our capacity, we've added a couple of new batteries to the system. We had six batteries before, they were fine, they weren't damaged, uh, but we've added another two to the bank just to add capacity to take up this amazing extra power we have. Right in your eye line, Rachel, is what, apart from me? Um, right in my eye line is, well no, it's not really in my eye, I've got to turn my head, the Bimini. We got a new Bimini, which is really, really nice. The Storm really did some damage on it. We had a lot of waterfall in a very short time. And I'd like to add in at this point that uh, an old mate from Whakatane, New Zealand, my hometown, who was working at Boatworks and is the upholsterer at Boatworks, did this bimini and he did an absolutely first class job. So these panels cost just under $500 each. There's a theory that you should pay roughly a dollar per uh, watt, so 370 watt. 
$370. That's for the cheap and potential nasty ones, I reckon. I think it's not a bad idea to pay a little bit more. We paid around for 70 close to $500 Australian per panel for each of them. We also had to extend out the basic stainless uh, frame that they're on. That was not cheap, I have to say. Um, we also added a little bit of structural reinforcing to the davits themselves. I've always been a bit anxious about the weight of the dinghy and the outboard, plus these panels are slightly heavier as a combination. I should add, I fitted these on actually once we had the stainless uh, work done on it. We actually drove into Brisbane Airport to pick the actual panels up too, saving a bit of uh, cost there. The alternators that we replaced worked. The fitting of them was done very well. Who did oh, that? Dude. Oh, an expert, Rachel. Somebody who clearly knows what they're doing. What am I good at? What are you good at? Uh, rowing. What am I not good at? Oh, um, I know this one. You're a handyman. <laughs> and dishes. Probably someone who's capable of fitting solar panels as well. <laughs> hey, up here. I see wind generation. Let's talk about the wind generator. Up there we had to replace one of the D400 uh, wind generators. Fantastic unit. Um, not cheap though. Uh, three and a half thousand I think was the cost for that. But again worth it. When you've yeah. got no sun for a couple of days it really picks in. I just like to say Declan put that together and put it up. We don't have any footage of it but it did happen. The tree falls in the forest. Yeah, did it happen. <laughs> yeah. Can I just add to that, that if a man makes a comment and a woman doesn't hear it, is he still wrong? Yes. <laughs> Carrying on in that vein, who did what? Simon did all the outside lights. I did all the inside lights. So I'm just finishing doing Ivan's lights. And I have to say, it's not the last minute I thought it would be. Turn the air. Uh... Yep. It works! Not even an electrician. I did the cabin lights, I did the hall lights, I did the lights in the saloon. Uh, yeah. Job all done, and they're still going. And they're still going. <laughs> there was some doubt about whether they would be. Actually, but... I didn't do one of the lights. That one's not working. Rob did that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. No, it's not true. It is still working, but he made a bit of a boo boo with the fitting. Okay, no, I stuffed it up and uh, you know it was all going swimmingly well until it wasn't. And if we ever sell this boat, that is going to probably add value to it because it's now famous. It's going to be like it's probably going to add a thousand dollars to the value of the boat. People go, oh my god, there it is. I've just. I feel like, you know when I'm saying that, I feel like Toby from um, the office. The office. Yeah. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 And that, people, is a wrap. We've broken this episode into two episodes, part one and part two. You have just finished part one. Part two is going to be screened in exactly 18 hours' time. We're being really different and wacky crazy. We're living on the edge, people. Um, part two is going to complete the whole story about the refit. And while I've got your attention, you've probably gone long ago, but just in case you've made it this far, I'd just like to bring to your attention that um, we had questions about our last episode, whether we were sponsored by the people who did the rap. We weren't sponsored by them, we just thought they did a great job and it was a pretty cool thing to talk about, as is the case with this refit. Um, we would love to say, <laughs> we would love to say, yes indeed, we are supported by, but no, it's all do-da, do-da day. And uh, have a happy day. We'll see you in 18 hours time. Roger that. If I'm going to cut straight to the chase and go to the sum total of the whole refit from the lightning strike. And the total is... If you enjoyed this episode, please comment, give us a thumbs up, and best of all, share it. It helps us heaps. Come on.